Mr. Well, President, sure. isn't it your responsibility, since this is your postal service, to meet this critical need? Well, we have a man in there for two months. He's a very talented man. He's a brilliant business person. He's done great. He's a very nice man also. But as you know, the Democrats aren't approving the proper funding for postal, and they're not approving the proper funding for this ridiculous thing that they want to do, which is all mail-in voting. Again, absentee voting is great. You request — I'm an absentee voter because I requested, I got, and then I sent in my vote. So that works out very well. That's what we've had. But now they want to send in millions and millions of ballots. They need money, but they're not willing to approve the money that they need. If they can't get the money that they need for universal mail-in voting, I don't see how they can have it. And that's not only post office, that's also for the voting itself. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. I can only tell you he's a very smart man. He'll be a great postmaster general. And he needs, obviously, if you're going to do these millions of ballots out of nowhere, he's going to obviously need funding. But the Democrats aren't willing to provide other things, and therefore, they're not going to get the funding for that. We are going to have an election that takes place on a beautiful day, November 3rd. And usually, at the end of the evening, they say, Donald Trump has won the election. You know what? You're not going to know this, possibly, if you really did it right, for months or for years, because these ballots are all going to be lost. Is your Postmaster General using the agency of the Postal Service to create delays? No, not at all. He would love to see it happen. I, I didn't speak to him about it, but I will tell you this. I would imagine he would say, number one, they didn't give me the funding for it, because it's sitting in Congress. The steps the Postmaster General is taking are creating some delays now. No, the he's steps he's creating, yeah. yeah. Are you no, not at all. The steps that he's taking are trying to stop the tremendous losses that have taken place for many, many years. He's trying to streamline the post office and make it great again. You're right. There has to be more resources, I agree, because all of a sudden, the post office is tripling up and set. The problem is the Democrats are not approving the funds necessary. After three weeks of absolutely no deal, you have been ragging on Democrats constantly. Why not? Come to the table personally. We've gotten everything we wanted, and we've also gotten a great economy. All you have to do is take a look at these charts. Our economy is doing good. But we want different things than them. I want money for the people. They m want money to bail out Democrat governors Mr. and Mr. Democrat Mr. mayors. Mr. Listen to me. Listen to me. My people are doing very good, and my people call me. They're in the office. They call me. They call me. When it's right, nobody knows the deal better than I do. When it's right, I'll meet. But right now, it's not right. The country is doing very well right now. We can live very happily with it, without it. But I'd like to do it because I want to give money to the people. I want to put money into the people's hands. They want to put money into politicians' hands so that the politicians don't look stupid.